So we're at the Sitecore desktop, and now I'm ready to actually go and install WooCommerce. WooCommerce is deployed using a, a standard package, and um, you just upload that to Sitecore like so. Let's just skip this. Whoop. And actually, I'm going to upload both WooCommerce itself and also the installation package for Avenue Clothing. So first, WooCommerce, the core platform, and then Avenue Clothing, which is our demo site. So we have something to play around with in a little bit. Let's get that up there. Good. And now I'm ready to install WooCommerce for Sitecore. All right. So WooCommerce is installing. What's happening here is that WooCommerce is setting up the relevant uh, configuration options in webconfig. It's adding include files. It's setting up the database by running a number of scripts uh, against the existing databases. All right. So with that, we should have a new application on the desktop. And we should have a number of integrations already in place for content editor and a bunch of other things. So let's just wait for Sitecore to recycle. WooCommerce touches web.config. So of course, that means that the ASP.NET app pool will recycle. So we're just waiting for that to complete. And we're good to go. So you'll see here we have the WooCommerce management tools installed. And inside the content editor, editor and marketing center, you will see new tools available as well. So let's just take a look and see if we've got some information in here. So these are the native management tools of WooCommerce. You can see catalogs, you can see stores, auto management, marketing capabilities, all that good stuff. And also in Content Editor, we should have a number of new items available. So all the e-commerce data is surfaced in Content Editor. So they can be used as regular old Sitecore items. So let's just verify that that's okay. So here's the WooCommerce node. You can see the stores that we just looked at, some categories, and we're good to go.